in. Well, getting in better shape is a popular New Year's resolution, which means you might be a little sore this morning from a recent workout, or you might be dealing with an injury that prevents you from getting to the gym. I'd like to welcome Dr. Aaron LeBauer, co-owner of LeBauer Physical Therapy in Greensboro. He's joining us live to share some tips and stretches to relieve pain. Good morning to you. Hi, good morning. Thanks for having me on the show. Oh, you're welcome. Anytime. So before we get into the demonstration, first tell us when exactly should someone see a physical therapist? What are those signs we should look out for? Yeah, I think the number one thing to recognize is that um, one of the most important things is to keep moving, um, to keep exercising and building strength. Okay. And anytime you have uh, a pain or nagging injury that doesn't seem to go away with rest or exercise, um, the best thing to do is uh, to be seen by a physical therapist for a total body diagnostic where mm. they can take a look at your whole body and figure out the root cause of the problem and show you the um, stretches, exercises, and do a few treatments with you to make sure that the problem goes away quickly and mm -hmm. uh, never comes back again without needing to take um, any pain meds or um, even worry about needing an x-ray or MRI. And you don't want to injure yourself again, right? So say we wake up, we start to feel some pain, and then we kind of start doing our own little stretches or just kind of loosen mm -hmm. things up. What's the best plan of action to not kind of like injure yourself, injure yourself even more per se? Uh, the number one thing uh, I think most people think about is I need to rest from the activity. What we need to think about is we need to rest from the activities that irritate the problem. Okay. And pain is a signal from our body, uh, kind of like the check engine light. It says, hey, there's something wrong, but it doesn't tell you exactly where the problem is. Um, it just means to pay attention. But we'll always have pain because pain is a part of daily life. Um, it, but when we get injured, it gets uh, exacerbated and can seem really bad when in reality it's just our body trying to protect us and tell us to stop doing something. But because the check engine light doesn't tell us where the problem is, mm -hmm. um, we often need to go see someone to help diagnose uh, the movement issue, and that's a physical therapist. That was a good analogy. Now, what about if you hear someone say, oh, it doesn't work for me. I've tried physical therapy, but it just doesn't make a difference. Mm -hmm. What would you say to them? <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of like saying, um, I don't, uh, I went out to the restaurant and I don't like, I didn't like the food, so I'm never going to a restaurant again. <laughs> um, or I don't like Chinese food, so I'm never eating Chinese food again. It's, uh, there's so many different types of physical therapy. Physical therapy is a very broad term. And uh, sometimes what we need is just another person uh, to take a look at what's going on. Mm -hmm. Maybe something got missed. Maybe we didn't know or we were a bad historian about what happened because when we get injured, it's just kind of like, you know, when you fall and just like the light, it's almost like the lights go out your brain and your body gets flooded with endorphins. Um, it's hard to tell what's going on in our own body and we need someone else, sometimes multiple people to help figure out what it is. Um, but physical therapy works. It's just a matter of figuring out where the real problem is and how does your body respond. I think the other thing is people are very impatient with their bodies and they want it to be fixed right. now, but healing is a process. Okay, yeah. let's get into the best stretches, Dr. LeBauer. Show us how best to alleviate pain. Yep, here, let me adjust my camera real okay. quick. Okay, so um, most people have back pain at some point in their life. 80% uh, of people will have back pain and it's the number one cause of missed work. So a lot of times we'll wake up and our back is stiff or we'll pick something up and lift it and go, oh, my back hurts. So the best things to do is to sit down and twist and rotate around to the left, twist and rotate to the right. And you can do it with a breath. And mm -hmm. our body needs to move. Our spine is built for movement, not, not to be stationary. So the other thing you might want to do is lean forward and round your back forward and you can sit up tall and arch backwards. So I'll show you what that looks like on the side. You can arch backwards and forward. It's kind of like a cat and cow in yoga. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing some and nice cracks can... in my back right now. I know, <laughs> right? So my back's doing the same thing and that's normal. You can do the sitting, laying down on the ground um, or in bed. You can also take an inflatable ball or even a tennis ball and you can put it where it hurts Okay. and lean into it take some nice deep breaths and wait for the body to soften and tissue to soften. Then the most important thing is once you get more mobility in your body, you get things to let go and feel better. It's now important to go and do some exercise, whether it's go walk, 
load your body. So maybe do go back to doing the exercises you were trying to do before. Um, pick something heavy up and carry it around the house mm-hmm. so that your body knows that now that the pain's gone, I'm strong and healthy and resilient. Dr. Labar, before we let you go, do you recommend stretching every single day and for how long, if so? Oh, that's great. I think the best thing to do is to, when you wake up, stretch your body the way it feels best. Kind of like what a dog or a cat does, or even, you know, you see the lions on National Geographic, they they get these big (laughs) stretches in their body just to keep moving. Mm -hmm. But stretching isn't necessary before you exercise or work out, especially deep stretching. You want to do more of a dynamic workout, a dynamic warm-up. Um, okay. That's something that we do with our patients here with our functional movement coach, um, is teach them how to do these dynamic warm-ups. Um, but stretching isn't required. It's moving your body in multiple, um, like, I think it's the thing people think is, is, is there's not a bad posture, it's lack of variation in posture and movement that's what causes us to feel stiff. So our bodies are designed to move and we just need to move it every day, move often and move well. Okay, wonderful tips and information. Dr. LeBauer, thank you for joining us on The Local Vibe. We'll be sure to have you back at a later time. And for more info, folks, on how to work with Dr. LeBauer and his team, please visit the website on your screen, LeBauerPT.com. Also, a podcast is available at HealthyGSO.com.